going to talk about lithium batteries. Why the lithium batteries are so popular every day in the, in the market, uh, in the new technology uh, of a hybrid and fully electric vehicles. Why do you think that uh, lithium is, uh, is in this moment uh, the preferred metal for uh, the design and construction of uh, bat uh, batteries? What is the function of, uh, what is the material of those traditional batteries? Lead. Lead. And uh, why lead was used for that purpose? And no aluminum, no copper. Why lead? Because lead have the ability to store us more, more amps. You want a battery that stores good amount of amps. Uh, you want to design with a metal that uh, stores a little? No, you want a metal that stores a lot. You remember what is the meaning of this in the periodic table, guys? Those are the amount of orbits. One orbit, two orbits, three orbits, four, five, six, and seven. Oh, the elements with only one orbit, they only have one or two electrons. Look at this, one and two. The elements with two orbits, they have probably maximum eight, nine electrons in two orbits. In three orbits, oh, the elements with seven orbits, they store us a lot of electrons, a lot of amps. Ah. Ah, nice, no? Where is located lead? <laughs> nice, no? Local lead with the uh, six orbits. Huge. What is the inconvenience of lead? Oh, it's too heavy, no? It's very dense. It's too much hamburger here, but, uh, it's... <laughs> but uh, today they discovered that uh, there are other metals with the excellent ability to store us energy, electrons, doesn't matter if they don't have that amount of orbits. Lithium only have two, two orbits <laughs> and stores a lot of energy. This is a magic metal. It stores a lot of energy when the lithium is connected with a group of other lithiums and uh, when the lithium is, uh, is in, in, a, in an alloy, especially in the cathode, they store us a lot of energy. Let me explain what is the meaning of that. Lithium by itself, only have two orbits. But uh, lithium combined with other metals in an alloy, that alloy stores a lot of energy. In a battery, you have two terminals, one positive terminal and one negative terminal. It's clear, guys? What is the element, what is the terminal that uh, stores, at the end of the day, the electrons? The, the negative terminal, the cathode. cathode. What is the terminal that uh, lose the electron during uh, the day? The positive terminal. Ah, okay. They design a battery with the positive terminal in pure lithium. And the negative terminal in a combination of lithium with other oxides and other metals. And that negative terminal have the ability to store us a lot of energy. More than the traditional lead in the positive and oxide of lead in the negative. And now I am going to explain the different type of batteries and the different type of cathodes with the ability to store us a lot of energy. The magic idea on those batteries is the cathode. The anode in all of them is pure lithium. This is why the people say lithium battery, because the anode is lithium. But the cathode is a combination of other elements to create a good cathode to store us a lot of energy. This is the situation. Look at this. Different type of batteries yeah, in this, uh, the lithium, the lithium titanate LTO. The anode is lithium, but the cathode is lithium, titanium, oxygen, papa, it's a combination. You see? Oxide of titanium plus lithium in the cathode. This battery, the LTO, those batteries are excellent for heavy vehicles, for trucks for transportation, electrical vehicles, and also, uh, yeah, it's basically designed for heavy trucks. The heavy trucks with electric motors, they use those batteries, LTO. What is the cathode? The cathode is oxide of titanium plus lithium. This is great battery. Look at this battery. This one is the NCA. Look at the cathode. The cathode is lithium and oxide, oh, sorry and oxide of aluminum and cobalt. 
This is the cattle. It's a combination da da da. Two is more cathodic, attract electrons and store us a lot of electrons. This is the cathode. Uh, this is used in the automotive industry. Uh, is is used in, uh, you see, Tesla. Tesla. Tesla use that battery. Once again, the anode is lithium, but the cathode is oxide of aluminum plus cobalt. Of course, and lithium. Lithium is the main ingredient in both of them. But uh, the cathode is have another ingredient that uh, become that piece of metal more cathodic, more more uh, more ability to attract electrons, the cathode. This is the, the batteries for the Tesla vehicles. Uh, and look at this. This is the NMC. Uh, it's a lithium, nickel, manganese, cobalt oxide. Oh, those are used also in hybrid electric vehicles. And uh, the, the inconvenience of those batteries is that they have a high impact with the environment. They are explosive, blah, 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 blah. But those companies, they are working every day to, to reduce that, that, uh, that, uh, that situation. And look at this. This one, the LMO. The cathode is lithium and oxide of manganese. For the cathode, once again, the anode is pure lithium. The, the, the difference is in the cathode. And of course, it's used those are the typical uh, electrical uh, tools on the uh, cordless uh, drills and uh, yeah, uh, power tools, power tools. And other one is this. Uh, this is the uh, LCO, lithium and cobalt oxide, oxide of cobalt for the cathode. High density, good power, and this is used in electrical vehicles and medical devices, medical tools. All of them are lithium, 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 and in the cathode, lithium with other oxide and other metals. The, the, the idea is that the cathode have good ability to store us energy and good ability to release the energy slow. 